Start with your excellency. It's okay, it's okay. Your excellency, Rigi G. Welcome. How does this name that you're given by the Kenyan sound? It sounds melodious. So when someone calls you Rigi G, how does it feel? It feels very good. Mm. I'm even enjoying that. In fact, I want to tell my wife, uh, Pastor Dorcas, to start and save me, babe, Rigi G. Because that is a very good name. It is melodious. Mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying life. I'm staying with the big boys right now. And actually of late, we have started noticing a change in the way you dress. Mr. Rigiji, have you started hitting the gym? I say that very well. I am going to gym. The criminal justice system is over. I have to go to gym. I am going to rest when I am 50 kilograms. I say that very well. In the last administration, I could not have gone to gym. Why? Yeah. Because... George Kenoti and DCI could have sent police at my doorstep and say that I want to revive Mau Mau. Otherwise, I'm telling Kenyans they should be patient with me. I'm going to revive. In few times, they are not going to believe this is deputy Rigade Gashagua. We are not in a criminal justice. The freedom uh, please allow me to cut you there, sir. Kenyans are really getting concerned because you made promises to them that when you take this government, life will be so easy for them. But uh, it's almost just the way the other government uh, run the country. What do you have to say about that? I first want to tell all Kenyans, thank you very much for waking up on 9th of August. They voted for I and William Ruto because they have... Hey, hey, my mistress, stop I think you have thanked Kenyans enough uh, for voting for you. So we should just jump directly... Uh, to this discussion. I say that very well on our swearing day that I and William Ruto are inheriting a depleted country, a demoralized yeah, economy. In fact, the country is almost coming to a shutdown. In fact, if Kenyans would be asked, they would say that they should migrate to countries like Uganda and Tanzania so that they come back where the economy have come back to normal. <laughs> Simbo. So I'm asking Kenyans, they should give William Ruto a patient time because we are starting from negative zero and we want to liberate uh, the economy of this country to where Mwaiwa Kifaki left it. Jamen. And if I may ask, uh, actually, Mr. Rigiji, how are you going to manage the debt burden that the country is already experiencing? Up to this juncture, we can say that the, 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 the debt of this country is almost 10 trillion. <laughs> hey. And that's why I'm asking William Ruto if we can call for a national fundraising and we call other countries like USA and Russia, they come as guests of honor and also other countries we invite them. We try and fundraise a lot of money so that we can pay this debt. Because if we expect Kenyans to pay this debt, we are going to wait until Jesus Christ comes back. So Mr. Rigiji, I you want to tell Kenyans that you and your government, you are not actually going to borrow uh, to manage this debt burden that the country is already experiencing. I have said repeatedly that I and William Ruto, we are very active men. We don't take alcohol. Uh. We wake up early. We are very hard working. We are men of God. My wife is a bishop and I have said this. William Ruto's wife, Mama Rachel, is a very prayerful woman. We believe we believe in God and we are going to respect every Kenyans irrespective of where they come from. No deep state, no intimidation, criminal justice system. We are going to chase it away and nobody, nobody, nobody is going to disrespect Kenyans because we are going to be men of integrity. Let us now talk briefly about Miguna Miguna. What about him? Are you actually going to allow him back to the country? William Ruto said it very clearly that once he gets to power, Miguna Miguna will be allowed to come back. But his steps must be watched very closely because we don't want to wake up the other day and we meet him at Uhuru Park swearing in Musea Kusimia. <laughs> we are telling the people of Kenya and I have also seen Fred Matiangi has run away. He has no reason to run away. Fred Matiangi, come back to Kenya, go back to Kisi, eat your money, plant bananas and nobody is following you. Kefisho is at home planting uh, rice and nobody okay, is... Okay, 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 okay. 
Thank you very much. I think we should end our interview I here. Say, I have forgotten to say about David Murade. David Murade, it's your time. You go rest. Take your money. Eat your money. Nobody is going to follow you. And we are telling Uhuru Kenyatta. Hey, 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 watch a story. Mingi up, up. And if I may ask, why do you keep attacking the former president, President Uhuru Kenyatta, and yet the campaign period is over and you got what you already wanted? But those are facts. Why do people keep wanting to run away from the truth? I had to inform the people of Kenya that they are finally free. I needed to inform the people of Kenya that our government will not send state agencies to go and intimidate those who are opposed to it. I needed to inform the people of Kenya that they have a right to criticize our government without fear of reprisals. Because I am a, I am a truthful man, I am a man of God, I talk the truth. And those who are unhappy about it, I am not so about wako ujitangase. Sio wewe kututangazia. Wewe wacha kujifanya deputy ya Jesus Christ. Wewe tuliza boli, my friend. Wachana na mimi. Mother Karua. Tuko na question mark. Nambona unasema mko na question mark. Tuko na serikali ambayo ili nyakua. Nobody saw your vote. The people of Kenya voted for I and William Ruto. We called you to come to Kenya Kwanza, but you are cheated by Uhuru Kenyatta. You followed Museya Kusimia. You smeared together. And I am not surprised to hear you say that because they usually say in Kikuyu that Musera na Mokodo akodo kakotake. And I know you know that. You followed. You have started singing the same song that Raila Odinga has been singing all his life. You took a whole lot of evidence at the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court said it was hot air. <laughs> What's wrong with these uh, people of Kusimia? <laughs> You're being funny. I think we should now end our interview there. And I ask you, viewer, to leave a comment down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. William Until we meet next time. said this again and again repeatedly. That it is not whatsoever in this republic that we shall have another hardship. We shall never have another hardship. We are not planning to return this country where it was uh, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Under the state capture. Under the control of few individuals from the opposition. Our opposition comes into the government. They unite with the government into the plate this country we are never going to accept that we are never going to talk about i have forgotten to say about david murade david murade is your time you go rest you take your money eat your money nobody is going to follow you and we are telling uhuru kenyatta will you keep quiet